Because that was all in the radio station. Yes, oh, in a radio okay. station. And it was just really, we, we were silly to try and think that we could pull it off. Um, and, you know, to do it on top of our other things. Because it really is a full-time job to be a DJ. So, and, and have a show on the radio. Um, with all the prep work and stuff. So, it, it, it just wasn't the right time. But it was very successful and it was a really great entree for me into voiceover work. Which, you know, ended up has been really good for me in the last 10 years especially. And, and I know with regard to voice, uh, you've done, I mean, you're part of the, um, you, you did the voice of Velma. Uh, I do the voice of Velma. Scooby it is ongoing. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I mean, go, folks. <laughs> every time someone says, like, you know, what is it like to feel to be an I TV icon? I always think they're talking about Velma because she was, that's who I grew up with. So, um, yeah, right? So, um, yeah, I feel really, really privileged um, to be a part of the Scooby-Doo Warner Brothers family. There you go. So mm -hmm. that, that's the voice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you, if you grew up Scooby-Doo, like, like in Scooby-Doo, <laughs> and I did, I, I, and then all of a sudden they had, they had scooby Dumb and Scooby-Doo. I don't know. I, right. Scrappy-Doo. Like, yeah, yeah they had a I, whole... I kind of lost them there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I only know one Scooby-Doo, and uh, he was an interesting, uh, a great dame. Yes. <laughs> anyway, that, that's, so that's something you were doing. And I know you're also involved in other, you know, I'll let you, I'll, maybe I could let you talk about that. All the other, I know you've done other films. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been very fortunate and very lucky. And, and honestly, I think it's more just patience and perseverance. Um, but I've been able to work pretty steadily for the last 25 years. And so I think when things have dried up, I've, I have other interests, whether it be um, philanthropic or travel related or um, doing some higher education, dabbling in that. I've always kept myself really busy and not put the focus on solely, you know, my career as an actor. Um, and I think that's been really beneficial so that when I get the opportunity to do a job, it's really based on wanting to do it and wanting to do that part. So oh, yeah, I've been really, awesome. really fortunate um, that if you wait long enough, you know, <laughs> things will come around. They always do. So It's very interesting how you guys started with the Facts of Life. I mm -hmm. was reading about it. I'm sure some, many people have. You were discovered. By I was discovered from Facts of Life by Charlotte Ray and okay. the producer at the time, Norman Lear, um, came to the school that I was attending, Westlake School for Girls, um, to try and authenticate the scripts and try and get a feel for what it was like to be in an all-girls school. Um, and Charlotte was really wanted wanting to make sure that Mrs. Garrett, there was a reason for Mrs. Garrett to leave Different Strokes, which is the show she started on, and go to this all-girls school for a reason. So they were trying to figure that out, and in doing so, I was one of the students they talked to, and she and I hit it off, I guess, extremely well. As a 13-year-old, I don't really know what that means to hit it off well with someone. Well, you were 13 years old? I was 13, wow. you know, so... So wow. all the 13-year-old out there, you know, you could go to a private school? For you. Wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, just have a rich, you know, daddy, and uh, he'll send you to school and you'll become a famous actress. That's exactly the plan. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I literally, the mm. next day, I got asked into the... Um, headmaster's office and he said Charlotte Ray is going to write a part for you in her new show. The character's name is Natalie because that's, that was Charlotte Ray's best friend's name in, when she was in high school. So that's how we got her name. Um, I don't know where Green came from. Somebody was bored. No, Somebody green, was green uninspired was and just said green. Well, what, what does green stand for? What is oh, I don't know. Something, oh, good. Yeah. I want something, something fantastic. Something with, with sunshine, maybe. Oh, you know, that's maybe. nice. Yeah. I, I'm going with that. That's the story <laughs> from now on about how how Natalie got her last name. Well, you know, uh, Sh Charlotte Ray is Edna Garrett in the, in the, in the, in the, in the series. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful lady. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know... Um, Cut to, like, I'm shooting the pilot, and nine years later, I was still doing it. So it so was very they, crazy. So they actually went to your school to look for someone? No, oh, they okay. went to the school just to try and kind of get the flavor of what oh. an all-girls school was like. Because the writers were, you know, 40-year-old bald men. So, you know, they didn't know what an all-girls school was like. So they were trying to sort of, you know, kind of just get the feel of it and maybe some story ideas. And so they talked to some of the students, and I was one of them. Wow, that's, that's amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? See? Lucky. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, that's very good. Right? <laughs> what would you, um, I guess, um, if there was a little girl listening out there, what would you tell her? You know, the way you, you know, um, what would you tell her, like, to give her a little bit of, um, you know, because um, I know that... Um, what, what, what do I want to tell her about what? You know, oh, about um, if they're interested in, in, in doing something and you want to give them some, you know, some light. Well, I, I think that no matter what it is, if it's creative, if it's math, if it's a sport, 
I think you should pursue it like you, um, like you have to. Mm -hmm. And don't let anyone dissuade you. And if it means that you have to get a job at a coffee house or do something else to supplement your income, I mean, the first thing is to be responsible for yourself. Mm -hmm. And not just financially, but also emotionally. Mm -hmm. And I would so talk this way to a young girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, okay. She would run away from me, like, tearing her hair out. <laughs> that girl's so serious. Um, but, but I think, like, whatever your passion is, you should pursue it. Um, fervently, and I mean, I think that goes across the board. Um, your belief system, anything, your sexuality, I mean, anything. I think you just need to um, be who you are and be proud of it mm -hmm. and surround yourself with people who support that idea. Yeah, positive. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, you know, because totally. um, many people, I'm sure, you know, you know, they watch the Facts of Life, they, rem they remember you, and you were like a role model. You were an inspiration to many people. I, for one. You know, because, you know, like I said, it was an all-girl thing, all-girl school. It was all, like, growing up, you know, it's a peer kind of thing. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. No, I, I appreciate that. I mean, I, it's sometimes very challenging to be a walking piece of nostalgia when you don't feel that way. But at the same time, um, I have to say that all of the girls, we all have very positive feelings about our experience. And so when someone recognizes you, sometimes if you're in a good frame of mind um, and you don't mind how you look, um, it's <laughs> it's very sweet. I mean, you actually get taken back, too. It's, a, it's good memories for me as well. I think if it was a horror show, you know, and we didn't have a good time and there was drama... I probably wouldn't want to be reminded, and I think that's no, what a lot of young stars time. experience, that they, yeah. their, their experience was probably not as good as ours, and we were very blessed. So we, you know, at least for us, the four girls, and I feel like I can talk for all of us, we all talk for each other, it's a little no, annoying, no, really, but that, that we all really appreciate mm -hmm. um, our nine years together. No, and the impact it had. Show. I mean, it couldn't have lasted if you didn't, you know, you yeah. stayed all together. Mm -hmm. That's obvious, I mean, that's a, that it really is, um, and there were, there were many other sitcoms at that time. Like, you know, it goes, you know, I, I remember, I mean, even before that, it was, you know, um, all in the family. That, that's a 70s zone, you know what I mean? Right, and yeah. Then, and then that's, but, you know, something that a young girl would probably relate to is probably the facts of life because it's similar in right. terms of being a girl, right. being young, going to school, you know. Because there was a, there was other, like, Sanford and Son, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, for me, I can't relate to Sanford and Son. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying. I do know yeah, what you're so. saying. You are a role model to many, to many, uh, to many women now. I guess there were there were young girls in the past. Lana, for example, is one of them. Thanks, yeah. Lana. All girls yeah. school. Yes, see, uh, yes. we're all. Lisa yes. As well. What? Lisa? All girls school? Oh no. Oh, no, but, yeah, but you know. Oh, but I was your role model, Lisa. Just say yes. All girls school. I wish. Well, if you just tuned in, you're listening to uh, Mr. Press. I'm here with uh, Mindy Stone. She, is, uh, she played Natalie Green in The Facts of Life. If you remember that song come back in the 80s. And uh, it went on for a decade. But you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a, I'm gonna play a song here because I need to play this. Because I'm, I have this geared up, ready to play. Oh my gosh. Is so let's okay? all, let, oh, let's just all be horrified together, shall we? No. It's oh, a great song. let's. Don't you dare sing that. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can say that. Okay. <laughs> on the radio. Oh my god. <laughs> now that's a nightmare. <laughs> that's like me going up to heaven and going, well, how'd I do? <laughs> god, playing the theme song. That <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> 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 